Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. Uh, today, oh my gosh, oh, oh, like today, today is like the only day that it's going to be really nice this week. It's supposed to be like a high of 65. Tomorrow's going to bring in rain. Wednesday rain, Thursday rain. Thursday is supposed to be like severe weather here. And I have a dentist appointment on Thursday. Wonderful, right? Um, but how was that Super Bowl? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys watch? Did your team win? We don't have, we don't have like a, we didn't care who won. Honestly, I think Brian was more or less rooting for the Chiefs, like, and I don't care. Um, I'm just happy for the winners. We're all winners. I'm just happy for them. I hope everybody gets a great participation award <laughs> for the game. Um, Mahomes, though, by far is like a, a great like football player. He's a great quarterback. Mm. And then Brian and I had like, I made corn dip yesterday. I made cheese dip yesterday. We made wings yesterday. So we had our own little like Super Bowl party ourselves, you know? And that was a lot of fun, I'm trying to adjust you guys. And that was a lot of fun. And, um, um, and we stayed home most of the day. I left yesterday morning fairly early um, and ran to Publix to go grab the wings. And we were gonna order them. And then I'm like, I decided that I didn't wanna order them. Oh crap, I forgot to get the garbage can. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah. Um, but the, okay, so let's talk about Rihanna. Oh, gotta shut the garage door, hold please. Um, why is that in here? He has that in here for one when he drove my car before. Because that opens that garage door. I have to take that out. Because it goes on um, what is it? Where does it go? I don't even know where it goes. Um, but anyway, let's talk about Rihanna. Yes, let's talk about Rihanna. And let's talk about her performance. Okay, so I, I like Rihanna. Huge fan. Um, I love her music. And the first thing I noticed was I'm like Oh my god i'm like is she pregnant i'm like because she just like had a baby not too long ago and at the time i just i didn't know like how old her little boy was and now i know he's nine months old um so yeah she is pregnant again and everybody like confirmed that like people and all that confirmed that um like right after <laughs> the uh a performance um but anyway i thought it was a very lackluster performance it was very chill i did like the vibe of it because it was very chill and it was probably very chill because she's pregnant um but i did enjoy it i thought that the costumes were a little weird like my first thought before i even started reading social media was they look like oompa loompas or are they using the the leftovers of the balloon that we shot down from China a couple years ago. I mean, a couple weeks ago. It's like, what are they wearing and why? Um, and then she was wearing bright red. But what is it with these singers and stuff wearing this like bright red, like costumes? It's just bizarre. It's really weird, but oh well. To each of their own. They like it, they wear it, so be it. So. That's just my two cents on the um, Super Bowl. It's always just, it's just always such a fun day. You know, you kind of look, anticipate Super Bowl. Um, it's definitely a different Super Bowl than what we've, what we usually are used to. Well, actually for the past, what, three years we've been here. So um, it actually is no different. Um, but when we lived obviously in Georgia, we had some hell of a parties with Super Bowl. It was a lot of fun. Um, but those days are gone. <laughs> those days are gone. Speaking of Georgia, <laughs> we are headed there next week. Next, next week. And we don't exactly know, like, the scheduling just yet um, of when we're going to arrive and all that stuff. So I, I don't know. Um, we're still kind of working on some details. Um, but we are going because Brian has to go over there for a work-related thing go over to the George office and take care of some stuff and then we are going to be visiting with our friends um, Ray and Sandy it's staying there a night um, we do know that much but as far as the other stuff goes we're just we haven't you know confirmed any stuff that's 
whatever arrival, whatever. But anyway, nonetheless, um, today, um, so today I, hello. So today I am running over to Buff City Soap because um, I um, got another contract with Buff City Soap to be another brand ambassador for them. So I am going over there to pick up my, my free product, my free stuff. If you get off your phone, you'd not try to run over me. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to go over there and pick up my free stuff. And then I'm going to work on the content for that today and get that up. Um, I think over on Instagram and on TikTok now that I'm over there. If you guys are not following me over on TikTok, I am over on TikTok. I am just at, I think it says Angela Cato. So that is that is me over there on TikTok. I honestly I don't do anything crazy over there on TikTok. I just post pictures and I put together little videos of my pictures. So reels, I guess you would call it reels. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna stop off at Publix on my way home. Even though I did go there yesterday, I forgot to pick up. Um, Golly, that guy's going really slow. I forgot to pick up beef broth and carrots because we are having roast today. I actually seared it this morning on the stove and then um, I put it in the crock pot with some onions and just a tad bit of water so it doesn't like, you know, burn on the bottom. Um, so it kind of has some like moisture in there to make it nice and moist and uh, ugly word and then um what was i gonna do oh and then i got a new crock pot so i'll share that with you guys too i actually put it on instagram the other day this crock pot it is so freaking cute and then we'll talk about that a little bit later and yeah i think that's about it i'm gonna go home. well when i get back home i just i already stripped the sheets off the bed so i have to put fresh sheets on the bed and get all that done today. Um, probably do some laundry, which I already did. I threw a blanket in the wash, and then, um, yeah, this is gonna be our, our day to do all that. But first, we're gonna go to Buff City Soap, make our run to Publix, and then we're gonna go home. Alrighty, so I finished up my stuff at Buff City and picked up a little bit of extra things that I needed, like I got refills of my soaps are my laundry soap and then i got the little scent boosters which those freaking things smell amazing i'll share all that stuff with you guys when i get home but i figured while i'm over here i'm actually going to stop into home goods really quick i have not been to home goods in a while so i thought that i would run in here and kind of see what they have available um i am going to do a tiered tray for saint patrick's day and although i do have a few things um for saint patrick's day um that i picked up at uh hobby lobby a little while ago i just kind of want to run in here and see what else they have that i might be able to use on a tiered tray so Let's go in. Yeah, I can't even remember like the last time that I was in here. But, oh, well, let's go see what they have. While I was over here too, um, there's a new place open called La Macaroon, and they've got all kinds of like macaroons in here. I'm gonna go try to their like finest and non-gluten containing ingredients. So they're like no gluten, which is amazing. So I'm gonna try to see if I I like any of these, and uh, we're gonna go in and check it out. And 
right next door is Peppered Pig, which that's where I was going to go grab some lunch today. But they're closed on Mondays. Go figure. But uh, La Macaroon, La Macaroon, French, French pastries is right here. So good. They do have coffee in there and other pastries as well. So, wow. Love it. Love it. Alrighty, so I'm back home, and as I was pulling in the garage, Brian was pulling out of the garage because he's actually going to go pick up his his glasses. Um, but I wanted to just quickly show you guys what I picked up at Buff City, Publix, and Home Goods. So first things first. So at Buff City, I picked up these are the three um, soaps that I was able to get for free because I'm a brand ambassador. So I picked up the Peach Mimosa the water lilies and the blissful buzz and these actually smell so darn good and if you're asking if we use them we actually do i actually like you can buy like these little um like netted things that you can put them in and they just kind of hang from your shower which that's what we usually put those in is this those that's what we put these in is that this little netted socky thing that you can use okay I butchered that whole thing. But anyway, yeah, this stuff is always, it always smells so good. It's just so nice to have fresh smelling soap. It's just so cool. Pretty, pretty soaps. And then um, this is what I picked up as well. I picked up three of these. Um, these are their laundry scent boosters. This is in the Narcissist scent. And then of course, um, my favorite laundry soap, which is also in the Narcissist. And I got these as the refills. And so you get like a dollar off when you go in with the refills. And then I got three of these because today everything that I purchased was 50% off. And then these were free because I was a brand ambassador. All right, so what I got at Publix, I picked up some bruschetta because I'm actually gonna like make some here shortly or just toast a little bread. I picked up the beef broth. I already used one in my roast. I got some Milo sweet tea because I love this stuff. I got some more butter because we were about out. This is um, like a vinaigrette glaze and I actually like putting this over my bruschetta. Um, I picked up some English muffin cinnamon raisin for Brian because he likes these and then these are my gluten-free mission um, tortillas. Those are the ones I use and then this is what I picked up at Home Goods. Um, again I just want something something for the kitchen enough to put on my tiered tray to give it some St. Patrick's Day vibe. So I thought this was the cutest lucky mug. Obviously it's a Ray Dunn and I just thought this was perfect. It's simple, it's easy. I do like the top of it, but I may or may not leave that on, but it's just cute. And then these are just like little cabbages. I think they're just cute, but it says cream and sugar on these. And I thought these would also be super cute. Um, I got these for the table over there and then Look at these Joanna Parker salt and pepper shakers. Like, aren't these the most adorable salt and pepper shakers you have ever seen? So I couldn't like not get both of them. So I got this set and then I got this set. And like, seriously, they're so darn cute. And then I did pick up this set of uh, towels and like hand mitts which I thought were cute um I'll put those like on the stove and then I'll put these ones over um over there speaking of over there um this is my crock pot I got a new crock pot this is the Drew Barrymore line absolutely loving this crock pot it's so pretty for one um for two it has a place where you could actually like store the lid when you're not like you know when you're gonna flip it up to check on your meat or whatever and then it has like a place where you can wrap your cord around so that is amazing but this is the roast that i have cooking i already poured my carrots in there and i actually poured half of this in there um so once that starts boiling again i might put more over there because it'll evaporate but that's my crock pot and I'm loving it. And the best part about this crock pot is that it's like under 50 bucks. And it's like I said, the Drew Barrymore um, line from Walmart. Our Walmart didn't carry it. Um, so I had to order it online and it got here in like two days, but loving it. And I love that it's like all digital and just really, just pretty and sleek. It just looks really, really nice. So I'm loving it. All right, so I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'm going to warm up my toasty stuff to make the bruschetta. But 
there's my little haul for y'all. Alrighty, so I toasted up my baguette and this is a gluten-free baguette and it's from the IDA or UDI place, company, whatever. Anyway, so I just warmed it up, put a little butter on it, put it in the broiler and heated it up and now this is what I have on my plate. And then this is the bruschetta that I just purchased and I'm actually gonna just kinda put it on here like this. And and I do like making like my own bruschetta and I have before, but sometimes it's just easier to just, you know, buy it already made and then you can just pop these in the oven and toast them. And then this is the glaze. And what I like to do is just put it on like this. Just like so. I mean, and it's just so good. And this is what I was missing the other night. This glaze is what I was missing the other night when I made my Brussels sprouts. Because this is amazing on Brussels sprouts too. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this because this is going to be my lunch for the day. And then we are going to test those macaroons that I got earlier. Alrighty. I probably won't get to like eating all of these today because I did get, I think, six of them in here. Yeah, I got six different ones in here. I mean, look how cute these are. I really hope I like them. I've, I think I tried macaroons like years ago and I don't know if I was like a huge fan. Um, I want to say I did, but I, again, I'm not exactly for certain. Um, I'm trying to like lighten this up again. So it's like light, not dark. There we go. Um, but anyway, so I got those ones and the, there's like a little list right here of all of the ones that I got. And obviously I won't probably remember, like Belgian chocolate is one of them that I got. I do know that one. So like this one is the Belgian chocolate. I'm gonna try it because I do. And these are gluten free too. So, oh. Yeah, I think they're good. I like a good macaroon. Oh yeah, these are tasty. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, so I like the Belgian chocolate. Belgian chocolate. And then I'm gonna put them back in the box because I know Brian might wanna try them. Um, and then this one, let's see. This one, I don't know. Oh, peanut, no, 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 not peanut butter and jelly, but I did get one that I thought was peanut buttery, peanut butter -y. I know it's not Colombian coffee. Um, gosh, I don't know. Tiramisu, maybe tiramisu. Maybe this one's a tiramisu. Oh wait, is, is there more? No, this is like the only thing. I don't know, maybe it's just tiramisu. Oh. Maybe that one is peanut butter and jelly. Like, all right, I'm gonna try to hold it, so. Look inside of that. So it might be peanut butter and jelly. Mmm. That's not horrible. It does have like a weird aftertaste, so I'm not exactly like fond of that one um <clears throat> let's see which one i really want to try this lemon cream this one because i do like lemons mm. okay mm. i really like that one that one is actually my favorite <clears throat> it's almost like a lemon bar I mean, if you like lemon bars, you will like this one. Mmm, yeah, that is really good. Mmm, yummy. And then I got this one, which is Cassis. Um, and there's a DF next to it, so I'm, yeah, that's dairy-free as well for this one. Um, <clears throat> and these are like 80 calories each. I don't know if I would like this one, she said it's like a bunch of berries mixed together. So I kind of, I really got that one for Brian. 
Um, let me try this one. This is the white, or excuse me, mint white chocolate. Mm. Yeah, mm hmm I'm tasting it now. If you like um, <clears throat> mint ice cream, like chocolate chip mint ice cream, this one would be good. Mint white chocolate. And then just for the heck of it, I'll go ahead and try this Cassis one. Like I said, she said this one was just a bunch of berries mixed together. So. Mmm. No. Uh-uh. No. Yeah, that one's a no for me. So, <clears throat> my favorite is the lemon one. So I know that I can always go back and get the lemon one because that one's good. And now I'm gonna try this one. This is the bigger one that I got. And I think this is like the birthday cake one. Look how cute that is. Look how cute this like little birthday cake is. It's got like cute little like frosting in the center, little sprinkles on top or confetti on top. How cute. Um, this one's actually a lot bigger than the, um, see how like in size wise, this one's a little bit bigger than like normal macaroons. Ooh. Mmm. It's like birthday cake. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Yummy. Now this one's good. So this one and the lemon one, lemon cream one for me are my two favorites. All the other ones I could I could totally pass. Uh -oh. Hello. See what happens when wives don't go with their husbands to like things? He forgets the credit card. And I left it sitting over on the counter for him in the butler's pantry for him to take so he wouldn't have that problem. Anyway, nonetheless. Okay. <coughs> so I'm actually going to leave these all for Brian so he can check them out in himself and see which ones like he likes but like I said by far the lemon cream is my favorite and then like the birthday cake but again these are really 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 sweet so I'm not gonna like eat the rest of I mean I'll eat the rest of it maybe like later take a couple bites later or after dinner or something for a dessert but as far as all the other ones um, I'll let Brian try them and then we will throw them out because <laughs> I'm not gonna eat all those that's a lot um, <laughs> but it is good to know that I can go over there and grab just a nice little sweet treat and that's gluten free. So that's really nice. But anyway, do you guys have a Le Macaroon by you guys? And do you guys like macaroons? That's like the other question. You guys might have like another type of place where you can go get um, macaroons. But oh, I know what that one was. That first one that I tried was the Orange Grand Mariner. I think, and I did not like it. Or is it this one that's the or Orange Grand Mariner? I think this one's the Orange Grand Mariner. I don't know. But anyway, I'll try it later, because it's like, like I said, it's really sweet right now. But, all right, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up around here. And I'm still watching the Murdoch trials. And if you guys are watching the Murdoch trials, like, let me know, comment below if you guys are watching them. And if you are, do you think that he's guilty or not guilty? Because like right now, seriously, like the 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 prosecute no the defense no the prosecution the the defense. There, I mean, seriously, both parties though are not able not the defense because the defense would be defending him. So the prosecution, so the prosecution hasn't actually even like had a smoking gun, if you will, and saying like he's guilty. Um, obviously, I've missed most of today you know, a few hours of today, they just went to lunch. So I'm like just listening to the commentary from some other people and I'm actually not listening to it because I'm talking to you guys, but um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be very interesting to hear if he is or if he isn't because like I said, they have not come up with like a smoking gun, like DNA evidence, um, the phone pinging. I think the phone pinging puts him where the murders occurred, but I don't know, he's got a lot of clout in that town. Um, so like I said, it'll be very interesting to see how this all plays out. I'm hoping this like ends soon. Good grief. It's been like 
what the wait, four weeks now it's almost been a month in the trial it's crazy 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 but uh anyway all right so i'm gonna get busy around here i did take out like the dip and stuff that i made yesterday i made that corn dip yesterday for the party or not for the party but for the super bowl and i still have it over here i took it out a few minutes ago because i thought brian would be home sooner rather than later and uh he's not but i have it out just in case he wants to eat a little bit for lunch when he gets home but anyway all right so i'm gonna get busy and uh clean up around here i'll see you guys in a bit today i'm actually just kind of doing some laundry and catching up on that i actually washed our blankets and stuff today too so those are drying um fresh sheets so typical monday except for the only thing i didn't get to is my bathroom which i'm going to work on that tomorrow so it's supposed to be like a yucky rainy day tomorrow so it's a perfect time to stay home and clean the bathroom perfect day so anyway thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the